Arboretum, one of the character areas of Lincoln. It's the easternmost of the 18 character areas in these videos, set on the sloping land of the North Escarpment. It lies between Monks Road to the south and Lindham Terrace to the north. Moving northwards, one rises gently at first, but then more steeply towards Lindham Terrace. The park is enclosed on three sides by a high density of tightly packed Victorian houses. The whole of the area is devoted to public use, including a park and pleasure gardens, with terrace and an ornamental lake and a children's playground area. There are only two buildings, properly speaking, the park's two lodges, although there are other interesting structures. This is the main area of open space within a wide, mainly residential area and is well used by local communities following restoration work in 2001-3. The layout of the Arboretum as we see it today has its origins in the late Victorian period. Lincoln's fortunes improved at that time and as a result, the city expanded outwards from the historical centre. A good deal of former agricultural land was converted into other uses, generally housing, but also commerce and industry. The character area is surrounded by houses from this period of expansion, and many of those along the park's edges take advantage of their locations, turning to face the open space. A combination of national opinion and civic pride led to the feeling that developing towns and cities should also provide public parks for this urban population. And in 1870, Lincoln Corporation purchased a large stretch of land here. Some of that land went to housing to raise funds for developing the remainder as Lincoln's first truly public park, the Arboretum. The escarpment slope to the east of the city has a long history of public use. In the Middle Ages, it had formed part of the estates of Monks Abbey and citizens had rights of grazing here. After the dissolution of the abbeys in the 1530s, it became common pasture land and was called Monks Lees Common. Some of the former field boundaries that divided up the common land still survive. To the northwest of the area, the footpath which links Arboretum Avenue with Lindham Terrace is one example, and the western and eastern boundaries of the park also follow the lines of former medieval field boundaries. In the east, the area between the Arboretum and Millman Road, which is known as Parker's Peace or Foster's Field, was grazing land in pre-Victorian times. Today, it is once more put to grass, a link with that older landscape. The park's designer was Edward Milner, an important Victorian landscape gardener. Many of the footpaths and features seen in the park today date from its first opening. The large lion statue, which stands below the terrace, to the west of the maze, dates from the opening of the Arboretum, and the bandstand and shelter were added in the 1880s. But there have been changes throughout the park's history. In the northeast, a bomb in 1942 destroyed a large house which had been there probably since the 1860s. After the war, the site was incorporated into the Arboretum as the Coronation Gardens, and only a few limestone remnants show where Cold Bath House once stood. The only buildings in the Arboretum today are the two gate lodges, constructed in the 1870s with roofs of Welsh slate and decorative timber framing. They were probably designed by Edward Milner. The Southern Lodge is now a cafe. It was probably built to house a superintendent of the Arboretum. It was restored by the City Council in 2000 to 2001 and an extension was added to house the Abbey Access Centre. The Northern Lodge is now used as offices. Despite the changes and following a successful restoration, 
The Arboretum, with its many fine, mature and younger trees, has preserved its character as a high Victorian municipal park and remains a key open space, well used throughout the day. This video is one of a series exploring the sense of place of the many distinctive areas of the city of Lincoln. Explore the Heritage Connect website to find out more about this or other areas of the city. As well as many videos, you'll find a huge amount of further information there. But best of all, wherever you are, keep your eyes open for more clues to the city's fascinating history.